So today it's super easy. We're talking about oil. I know, oil is so easy. Everyone knows how to change their own oil or they just drive down the street to uh, you know the Valvoline and, and get their oil changed there. So here we have exhibit A and we have some uh, Valvoline high mileage max life technology oil. And on it, we have a couple numbers, 10W30. Now, what do those numbers even mean? It's a measurement of the oil's thickness or the viscosity. So there's this thing called a viscososmeter that measures how quickly oil travels from point A to point B, and it assigns a number to it. And so the 10W30 is that oil viscosity. So the important thing with your oil's viscosity is you want an oil that's thin enough that it moves through your engine with ease, but you also want an oil that's thick enough that it protects the parts well. So you wanna strike a balance with your oil viscosity. You want something that's not too thin, that actually protects your engine components as everything is moving, but you don't want something that's too thick, that it's gonna bog things down and create friction, unneeded friction in your motor that's gonna kill horsepower and hurt your gas mileage. So on my 1975 Ford Bronco, my 302 engine, the Haynes Manual actually recommends 10W30. Now, this is actually a partial synthetic blend, and I don't recommend this. I didn't use this on uh, this engine, but this high mileage max life technology is actually a partial synthetic blend. Now, synthetics aren't bad, and I know a lot of mechanics who on these old engines run partial synthetics and run a, a thinner viscosity with a partial synthetic, and that's totally fine. But here's the thing with synthetics is they have have additives in there and those additives help protect the engine help protect those moving parts but it also helps remove the gum and the sludge and the, the just the grime from the years of wear and tear now that's great if you're using synthetic motor oil and you've used it from the beginning but switching to a synthetic motor oil on your 40 year old engine can be a pretty bad thing. You've got a lot of brittle parts. You've got a lot of uh, old 40, 50 year old gaskets and, and, and uh, rubber pieces that are, have lived off of a 10W30 that doesn't have all those additives. So when you start introducing an oil that has a bunch of additives, it can cause a lot of leaks. It can begin to break down the gaskets and the seals that are, have been on there for 40 or 50 years and begin to cause a lot of problems. So my recommendation is to stick with a good 10W30 that is not a synthetic or a synthetic blend. I use just the regular old Ford Motorcraft oil filters. Oil filters are one of those things where, man, there are so many negative comments about oil filters and so many like, upsells from everywhere on get a better oil filter and this is the best oil filter and all that. I'm just gonna go ahead and say I use Motorcraft uh, oil filters and I'm not sponsored by Motorcraft. I have no affiliation with them, but it's a Ford product and it's a good, decent oil filter. I feel like if you're changing your oil uh, and your oil filter regularly, this Motorcraft filter is gonna do just fine. If you found any of this information helpful, there's a link in the description below to download the Better Bronco Challenge PDF. Go ahead and download it, it's free, it's for you, and follow the steps to have a better Bronco. But here's the thing, if you really wanna get serious about this, there's a video series at betterbronco.com, and you can buy the entire series and go through all of the steps that hundreds of people have gone through to get their Broncos in the best shape that it's been in for years. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.